Hello, everyone, and welcome to the sixth week of the Stardew Valley Trials. Yeah! Week six! Y'all are done! I hope you're ready because this week is the wildest one so far. My mindset going into week six was a cautious one. I had to be super careful with every move I made so as to not make an enemy. It feels like I still have a friend in Therm and Shawnee. I think we've had a fairly amicable relationship throughout the rest of the cup, and I feel like that's continuing on to now. Going into week six has me nervous. Last week, Nublik got voted out, but since Blade was taking his place, I didn't actually have to confront him. But this week, we're probably going to have to vote out Matt in order for me and Therm to stay allied with Brandigan and Leap a lot. Honestly, the only reason I haven't told him we are no longer allied is because I can't bear to break his little heart, man. And despite the fact that I know that it's just a game, they're still my friends. It's hard to do. The closer we get down to the wire, the less I'm going to be able to rely on my alliances, and the more I'm going to have to rely on being actually good at Stardew. All the players that are left are pretty good at Stardew Valley, and I am not. So this is bad. This is getting really stressful. There's no way that people don't get stabbed in the back here soon, right? If I had to rank where people fall on my list of trust, I would say Brandigan won't do me dirty. Therm probably won't. I'm not sure if Shawnee would. It would be best if Brandigan or I won today. I am really scared because we're starting to whittle it down to the point where it's just pals left, and I don't think I can handle that emotionally. I'm in the exact same spot as last week. I'm pretty much friends with everybody at this point. I mean, I do have to vote for Habu every week because my vote has to go somewhere and he's the best. Our core alliance of Brandon, Leap, Shawnee, and I is still alive. My little secondary alliance with Matt is still alive, though I'm really worried that it's going to have to be severed today, and I'm kind of dreading that. It's crunch time now and I can't slip up. I really need to be more cutthroat if I want to win. I couldn't do it last week and hesitating may just be my downfall. There's no friends or enemies anymore. It's more like frenemies. Except for Leap, we're dog dads for life. But everyone else is suspect. Therm won't turn on me unless it's for Shawnee, and I'm certain of that. And honestly, I think I need to team up with Habu. It's better to have an enemy who straight up says I'm a threat than a friend who may be going behind my back. You know what I'm talking about, Shawnee. I swear, if he takes another poop during elimination, I'm gunning for him. Last week was way too close for comfort. I was literally a hand of Calico Jack from being eliminated. So I am really, really need to get a win this week. It'll give me a lot more breathing room. I think I've only won one official event so far, and the rest has just been elimination challenges. Just... <laughs> Somehow, I just can't lose them. I have no idea why. The prize pool for the Stardew Valley Trials will be crowdfunded. I've started the pool off at $1,000, but if you'd like to contribute, check out the information in the description below. Everyone who donates will have their names featured in the credits at the end of the remaining episodes. The final total will be revealed during the season finale. At this point, you guys pretty much know what to expect every week. And I don't like that. I think that we need to keep the trials interesting, and that's why this week will be a double elimination. Within the hour, two of you will be sent home for good and will be down to just four players. Oh no! A double elimination! A double elimination! Are you kidding me? Double elimination! Oh my god! Like, I knew that people were gonna have to be eliminated, but it just makes it all that much more scarier knowing that it's all happening this week. We're going down to four people this week. My tummy did not like that announcement because, oh my God, I am shaking. There's going to be four people at the end of this. There's going to be four. It's going to be the final four. And I don't know if I'm making it to that group. I'm real worried. I'm real worried about this. Like, obviously, it's going to be four eventually. I'm just, I'm not, like, give me some time to prepare emotionally, Z. God. Honestly, this just gives me a perfect opportunity to have two people of their uh, little posse over there get thrown into the elimination challenge. Hopefully I can get a dub this week so that happens. Two people are going home today. We're going from six to four, and if I'm doing my math correctly, that means I am sunk. For real though, we have to accept that somebody from our alliance might be going home today. Maybe even two of us, depending on how things turn out. I think the plan is the same. Brandigan or I need to win. I trust Shawnee and Therm, mostly but Brannigan is my man today. Hearing about a double elimination week is frightening. I thought I would just have to survive through one challenge. Turns out I would have to survive through two and two people are going home, which means we are just barreling towards the end game. 
and everything is getting more and more intense. So then I'm sure you're eager to find out what our first main challenge of the day will be. I hope that you like speedrunning because for today's first golden mask, you will be playing hot footed. You're going to be racing all the way through the volcano mine from floor one to floor 10. I've prepared a farm for you so that you have everything that you need and also to make sure that you all have the same layout. Your time will start as soon as you step off the stone bridge and your time will end the second you enter the forge. The person who is able to conquer the volcano mines in the shortest time will be the winner. Good luck. Here it is. We didn't get rid of Habu last week and now it's a speed run challenge. Who could have seen that coming, huh? The Habu Center challenge is here and we're all gonna die. IRL probably even. Did I think I would do good? No, no, I didn't. Didn't think I would do good at all. Everyone else speed runs regularly. I don't sweat at Stardew. I play for fun. I'm screwed. And there is my golden ticket. A volcano mine speed run. A while back, I participated in a volcano mine speed run challenge hosted by Mossy. I spent way, way too much time on it. I think over like 20 hours. I, I don't know why I did that to myself, but I did end up in first place on it by almost like 10 seconds. I was kind of the only one grinding it, but that's how it be sometimes. I'm very confident about winning this one. Obviously, I still have my worries. Brandigan is a very good player and on a good run can easily match me. Even though I had kind of a innate advantage going into this challenge, it wasn't set in stone right away. Volcano speed run. This is something I'm pretty solid at. There's so many layouts for each floor and the monsters hit super hard, but you can breeze through it if you know what you're doing. Can I do great in this challenge? Absolutely. Can I win the mask though? Maybe. I'm not a speedrunner, so Habu has me beat there, but there's a lot of randomness with each volcano run. I'm not counting Shawnee out either. He likes to fake like he's bad at the game, but the man has a ton of hours in speed runs. Um, no, this one, just no. This, this, this is this is the only one so far that he announced it, and I was like, I'm, I might I might leave the call. Honestly, I might just leave the Discord call and resign. Just be like, have fun, guys. Now it's back to single elimination. So it's a race. In other words, a speed run. Neat. Listen, I'm not bad at Stardew Valley, but I'm not a speedrunner. I imagine Shawnee, Brannigan, and Habu are all gonna win here. Somebody, at least out of those three. I don't really know about Matthew and Therm. I am not very good at most things in Stardew Valley, but more than anything else, I have practiced a lot of skeleton caverns. Despite what happened in episode three, just forget about what happened in episode three, that was different. And the volcano's pretty similar, so I think I have a good shot at not losing. But despite knowing that I'm pretty good at the mines, I can't help but feel overwhelmingly nervous. Everyone left is good. A am I really even that good? It seems pretty easy. All you have to do is run, break open a couple rocks, and not die, right? It's not just run to the end and just do it as fast as possible. There's a there's a bit of strategy, and it mainly comes down to tools and equipment. The main things that I was going to take advantage of was the slingshot that had explosive ammo in it, the savage ring, and the infinity gavel. The savage ring is the definition of speed. Every time you kill an enemy, it gives you a plus two speed buff that stacks with coffee and your food buff. Basically, you can have plus four move speed for just a short while, which is a crazy amount of speed. And then finally, the infinity gavel. The gavel is by far the best weapon in the game with the club smash core. It allows you to hit enemies in rapid succession, allowing you to basically instant kill anything with it. So it's very easy to get savage ring procs from it. The volcano mines are short and you don't have to find the ladder. It's just a matter of getting to the end of the level and walking through a door. I'm sure this is gonna go just swimmingly. In three, two, one, start. Off we go. I do not have um, animation canceling, so we're just, I think, gonna run through most of this stuff and try to avoid breaking rocks wherever we can. Okay, we're gonna need to break through here. No big deal. We're playing on single player, so I'm gonna stop, you know, when I'm eating. <laughs> when I check my menu, anytime I gotta do anything, I can just stop for a second, so that's awesome. Swing through, avoiding everything. Seriously, just don't don't wanna be here. My heart hurts, I'm sweaty, don't feel good, kinda have to pee. This is not how I wanna be spending my day. Um, we're gonna have to get through here. 
Now I'm typing. I'm so shaky. Great floor, great floor. We love to see it. Um, this is not such a great floor. We don't love to see this. Actually, no, that wasn't too bad at all. Keep it going. We're on nine here. Wow. This one looks a little treacherous. But yeah, we're just going to tank it. We're going to tank it. We're doing fine. It's all good. They can't they can't really do that much damage. Eat. Eat, let's eat, let's eat, let's go. In we go. Done. This run went pretty well. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, if things went this well for me, how easy must this be for some of the speedrunners? My strategy was to equip the ring that gives a speed boost and to just try to take out as many enemies in my path as possible. Okay, here we go. And start. Lovely. Already hurting myself. You love to see it. I was hoping for a speed boost on my ring. Didn't get it. This is a lot less damage than I thought. Not off to a great start. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I left my watering can at home. Hopefully I don't need that. <laughs> okay, there's a little speed boost. Did I not drink coffee? Okay. Lots of things going wrong right off the bat. Really making use of the speed boost. Okay, it looks like this might be the right way. Uh, maybe up here. Left is looking better. Yes. Health is low. Um. Oh. Okay. One bad direction. Please don't get near me. Please don't do that. That would be rude. Animation cancel link, please. Thank you. That room should not have taken that long. It's gonna be a quick room. I forgot they don't blow up rocks. Oh, a journal scrap. Helpful. Very good. Very helpful. Oh! Forgot they were enemies. That's cool. You know, I can't ever find the dragon teeth in my own farm, so here it is. Oh, let's go. Got a walnut. Okay, honestly? This time feels better than I thought I was going to have. Hey, this room is not great. Okay, we're good. Oh, those things hurt. I don't know if I should have done that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I thought that didn't open it just for a second. Okay. Uh, did it. My real only strategy was just don't die. I did notice that one of the rings gives you a little speed boost if you kill somebody. I didn't use this to my advantage at all. <laughs> I just wanted to not die. All right, I'm about to throw up. Uh, I can't handle this. I can't handle this. I can handle this. <laughs> Let's run it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, that doesn't work. I thought maybe... That would kill the slime and I would get a speed boost. Here we go, here we go. How do you get it to hit the rocks? Oh, it doesn't do that anymore. It doesn't do that anymore. I'm quicker now. Uh-oh. Get juked, dude. I'm like destroying these fools' ankles right now. Oh, get destroyed. Get owned. Okay, we made it, we made it. Level two. Oh, I didn't see that rock there. There we go, I'm quicker. Doesn't even matter though. Cause I didn't do anything with my speed boost. I got a walnut. Got a walnut. Better count for something. I gotta reorder my inventory because I thought I'd be using this more often. Okay, adios. Gotta watch the health. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some cheese. 
Dude, that, like, berserk speed boost is so clutch. Okay, level four. My boom arm on my microphone blocks my health bar, which isn't ideal because I need... That's an important number to know. Come back, I dare you. Suck it. Eat some more cheese. Gotta be extra, extra safe, because if I die, that's gonna be really bad. Okay. Dragon teeth, where are these on my 200 days? Okay. Pass away, please. Thank you. Ugh, if I had animation canceling, they would be toast. Mark my words. Wow, this is the best I've ever done in the Volcano Dungeon. Oh, shoot, but I can never understand how these work. Consume. Moved, child. Okay, all right. I'm fleeing. Okay, and time. Oh my God, I'm gonna vomit. Oh, I definitely didn't think I'd, that was much better than I thought I would do. All this pressure of dying made me insanely nervous, man. I was shaking in my boots. I couldn't even focus on what I was doing. All right, three, two, one, go. Just about speed, baby, speed. Speed is all I care about. I'm a speedy guy, I'm a speedy guy. Speedy guy, I'm a speedy guy. I am a speedy guy. Going so fast that I can't touch my pants. I'm just having fun, honestly. Johnny kind of slick with it. I would rather post a photo of my bare butt on Twitter than suffer the humiliation of dying during this challenge. Dang, that speed move is insane. I can't believe I never uh, freaking thought of that. That's bon Bonza's. Dude, I thought I was gonna run out of time. With all these materials, this is quite easy. Ah, oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. I don't care that I'm taking damage. I should eat a cheese. Famously, I never watch my health when I do these things. Okay, still have my speed bonus. This is surprisingly easy. I hope that other people aren't having trouble with this. This is insanely easy, honestly. Mushroom floor, easy, easy. I thought this was gonna take like upwards of 10 minutes. This is taking like maybe three minutes max. I'm already on floor nine. I don't care, take all the damage that you'd like. Ah, miss input. Dude, look at all these little fire guys. There's a lot of them, Jesus. Okay, I want the speed boost. Okay, I gotta eat that cheese, eat that cheese, eat that- Oh, there's buttons? Oh, oh, it was just one, it was just the one. Okay, time, okay. Easy, 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 easy. Honestly, I have no idea how good my time was. That almost seemed like it was too easy, like laughably easy even. Most of the floors barely had anything blocking you from the exit, so it's just a matter of running as fast as you can. And just like Mossy's challenge, the timer starts when you cross the bridge. There was no rules against me re-softening up some of the enemies across the bridge. So you will kind of notice me just firing my slingshot, just like pew. Pew, pew. So when I do start the timer, I do cross the bridge. I just hit them once. I get the Savage Ring move speed buff, and then I'm on my way. I was just very confident that on a normal day that I would win this. Oh boy. So he said as soon as I step off the bridge. So if I do... Okay, it should be...
overall, I was pretty happy with my run. I thought it would easily be good enough to give me first place. I really only made some minor mistakes, but my real issue was still Brandigan. If he had a clean run, he could easily beat my time. I had a feeling my setup would be a little different than the rest of the players. I don't want a chance getting a debuff that slows me down, so I went with a full immunity setup. I also think the Infinity Gavel and Savage Ring are must-haves to quickly kill and capitalize on the speed buff of the ring. The run won't start until I step off the bridge, so I tried to lure enemies with my slingshot so I could get the Savage Ring speed boost. Oh boy, I'm nervous. Okay. Okay, there we go. I should have hit that slime. That's a mistake. Oh, it's a regular pickaxe. Oh, oh, I should just use the explosive ammo. That's my mistake. There we go. Nice speed boost. And I go the wrong way. That's okay. That's okay. Just keep it going. Oh, boy. Okay, just run through them. That was that was messy. I am very sloppy. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Oh, which way is this one? I'm going to have to heal at some point. Okay, it's up here. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay. Let's just play this super safe. I'm probably not getting first, but it's okay. Oh, I don't know which way this one goes. Oh, it's straight in the center. Oh man, this is stressful. There's some magmas. Oh, I should have slammed them. I'm an idiot. It's okay. Keep it. Can I run around? Which way do I need to go? Straight. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really wish that I would have used more explosive ammo, and I regret taking so much damage that I had to heal. Great job, everyone. This challenge looks a lot easier than it is. Let's find out how you all did. The person who did the worst and who will be receiving an extra vote this week is Matt McCleskey with a time of 3 minutes and 49 seconds. In fifth place, with a time of 3 minutes flat, was Therm. Leapalot finished with a time of 2 minutes and 34 seconds, and Shawnee Doo finished with 2 minutes and 20 seconds. But the winner of this week's Golden Mask, with the only time under 2 minutes, is Habu. Habu won. Not much else to say about that. Of course Habu won. Of course. Well, coming in last place uh, was not surprising uh, at all. Yeah, of course Habu won. There's literally an entire video on his channel dedicated to this exact challenge. What did you guys expect to happen? And while I don't want Habu out just yet so that everyone stays focused on him, him winning is not good. I have no clue who he's going to throw into elimination. At the end of the day, I think it was expected for me to win this challenge. Again, it was still very close. Brandigan had a very good run, so hats off to him. And it shows you that I'm honestly not the only good player here. Everybody kind of just puts me up on a podium. Hey, he won the Stardew Valley Cup. Hey, he speed runs. Hey, he does all this crazy stuff. But there are some good players still here. They're just not getting the attention because I'm here, which kind of sucks for me and honestly sucks for them that they're not getting the credit that they deserve. I came close, but that only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. 
I don't know. That's something my grandfather used to say. Abu winning is pretty much the worst case scenario for me. I know he sees me as a threat, but we have a long history together and maybe he finds a reason to not throw me in. Everyone, it's now time to vote for someone that you want to send into the first elimination of the night. Okay, so we had to pick someone to vote out and since Abu won, it couldn't be him. And Brandingen got second place, which means we need to get him out. So I call my allies, Shani and Therm on Discord. And Shani doesn't answer. He says he was peeing, and I believed that. So I ta I'm talking with Therm, and we both agree that it was a tough decision, and it was going to be rough. But we decide Brandigan. Logically, Brandigan was the best choice to get rid of. Dude, I am so nervous right now. Yeah. Um, that sucks. It sucks. Uh, we stick to the plan. We, th we throw Matt in, and then one of us goes in. Uh, what happened? Dude. What's good? I'm just, what, did, I'm, what did Matt say? I'm sad. Matt just called and he just said, this is a cope call more than anything. And I was like, no. <gasps> no, um, what did he say? I mean, did you tell him about our plan at all? Yeah. We're, we gotta vote, Matt. To vote for Matt. Yeah, we I think we have Matt. to. Okay. Because, right, boys. Okay, that's what we agree to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think I have to go against him. It, that sucks. It is what it is. It is yeah, what okay. it is. Adios. That's the way it goes. Okay, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this was too much for me. So what happened is that immediately once Z told us it was voting time, I got a Discord call from Matt, who I was thinking about voting for Matt because, like, I can't vote for Habu and then everyone else is in this core alliance I've got going. I answer the call and he immediately opens with, this is a cope call more than anything. And at this point, I am in tears it's like i don't i don't think i have the strength to pull the trigger on this one and i definitely can't say it to his face so i lie through my teeth like a terrible friend and he's saying i think i'm gonna vote for brandon and i just go yeah uh, yeah i'll vote for brandon and then i drag my sorry butt over to my alliance call to be like yep voting matt for sure i feel like a criminal let's see how all the votes fell with only one vote brandigan you are safe this week you traitors. Oh my god. But there was an otherwise unanimous decision to vote in Matt McCleskey. Matt, with five votes, you will be one of the people in the elimination. Habu, as winner of the Golden Mask, who do you want to face off against Matt? And oh man, who will I put up for elimination? When I heard the betrayal in Matthew's voice, I knew what happened. A friendship, a comrade, a tie was cut from the group. Matthew. What's up? Since you've been betrayed, who do you want? Oh I really my care. gosh. Who do you want <sighs> to face? I'll let you appear. <laughs> this is so much power. Is this for real? Yes. Oh my god. Hab, why aren't you sending me in? Give me Shawnee. Oh my god. <laughs> <Have> Shawnee. <laughs> Go right ahead, Matthew. We're putting Shawnee up. No! I mean, you should have. Oh my uh, god. Oh, <laughs> no, wow. I, I can't. I, I'm going to leave the call. And so it will be Matt McCleskey and Shawnee do. I'd like to apologize to Evelyn in advance for this challenge because today you'll be playing Drive By. You'll each be given a slingshot with full ammo and your goal is to be the first person to pelt 10 different villagers with it. You'll also be given 10 fences that you can put down anywhere, but you will not be allowed to break them. So be careful not to get trapped. As soon as someone hits their 10th villager, they are the winner and the other person will be eliminated from the Stardew Valley Trials. Good luck. Well, I suppose I deserve this. This, th this is the consequences of my actions. Finally catching up to me. Raquel. Hardy Arley, King Nooblet, Matt McCleskey. One by one, I pretended to ally with them all. And then I betrayed them. This is not how I go out at the hands of Matt McCleskey. Shawnee will fight to see another day. When Matt found out, wow, you know, he was not expecting that. The tone of this game just changed. We are not here to have fun anymore. In our Alliance group chat, I was rooting for Shawnee, but secretly, I really hope Matt can knock him out. That's because our current alliance is going to end soon one way or another. Therm won't ever ditch Shawnee and I still have Leap that I want to look out for. If that means bringing in Matt or Habu, then that's what I got to do. I just need to stop hesitating. I had to know schedules of all the NPCs 
where they'd be at certain times of the day in order to shoot them with a slingshot. And I picked Shawnee, so I screwed myself. Three, two, one, go. False start. Okay, there we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh sorry. God. Okay, it was lagging for me, but you're good. Oh! And nobody's home, nobody's home. Dude, where are they? Am I... Am I dumb? Oh, what the heck? Oh, there it goes. Oh, my... Dude. Ten. Oh. Ten. Wait. Uh. No, you... F God, you can't pelt him. Don't know if I hit her, so we'll do it. Oh, we'll do it again. And that's 10. Congratulations, Shawnee Dew. You'll be sticking around a little longer. Matt, unfortunately, you have been eliminated from the trials. My reaction to losing, especially in this week, I, I can't say I'm surprised. Both challenges, both the speedrun and knowing NPC schedules are my Stardew weak points. You know, I'm actually surprised I made it so far in the trials considering everyone else's strengths in Stardew. And I'm much more of a casual player. I'm known for, for making fun of the game, not for being good at it. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to make it this far. Maybe I'll keep up next time. Goodbye, Stardew Valley. Matt was a bright spot in the trials. Him leaving is not the greatest loss in this game. The greatest loss is what dies inside us still here when he leaves. It's going to be ruthless from here on out. 07, dude. Unfortunately, Matthew kind of got rolled and eliminated, though I'm still on my own. But I still gained some traction and finally put Shawnee into the elimination challenge for the first time. Winning is really my only chance for survival from here on out, so I better start winning some more. Seeing Maddie Max struggle in that challenge, I like, have you ever hit a spider with a shoe that's like on your floor and it does that little wriggle where it's like not quite dead and it's just like, please stop. And I'm just standing here looking at this wriggling spider thinking I did this, this was me, I'm a monster. And like, I do want to see Matt get put out of his misery here, but I just, I can't see him leave. I don't want to see anyone leave. I'm just kind of holding out this feeble bit of hope that Z is going to do this stupid surprise and be like, no one goes home. Like, of course he's not gonna, because he's a sadist, but still, a man can dream. Johnny won, Matt lost. I should feel good because my alliance is still all in one piece, but I feel kind of anxious. Like I said, things are different. You can feel it and there's not even a second to breathe and figure things out because we immediately have to start a new challenge. But we're not done yet, folks. We're getting right back into it. The golden mask is once again up for grabs and anyone could come out on top. I hope that Matt being eliminated didn't leave you too disoriented because you're gonna need to be on your A game for this next challenge. Today, you'll be playing not so excellent. You are each going to compete in exactly one egg hunt. The twist is that before you start, you're going to rebind your WASD keys to make you move in a different way. Pressing W will no longer make you walk up. Instead, you'll go down. A makes you walk up, S makes you walk to the right, and D makes you walk to the left. The person who collects the most eggs will be the winner of today's second golden mask. 
Good luck. Not so excellent. Ah ha ha. So we're doing an egg festival, but our controls are wrong. Left is up, right is left. I, I I don't even know. It's really, really disorienting to figure that out. I know a decent route for the festival, but the game is so different when you can't trust your hands, you know? Oh my God, I, I forgot there was another challenge. I was so nervous coming off the elimination challenge. I could barely focus on anything else. I was so shaky the whole time. I was so tense and I, I just felt so bad about all the things I've done to get here. My mind was racing. I was definitely not in the state to do another challenge right now. Egg festival? Oh no. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm terrible under pressure when I'm not prepared. I usually panic and my chest tightens and that's why I always try to be prepared. I didn't have that chance this time, but maybe I can push through this. I already struggle to walk straight sometimes and now that my keybinds are changed, yeah, better luck next time. And I swear to God, if anybody actually beats Abigail, I'm just gonna... I hope the cutting out like makes that funny. I have no idea. You don't need to add that. I thought it would be funny. I'm gonna be honest. I did kind of play up like, oh, I have no shot. I'm gonna lose this challenge. But once I heard about the control swap thing, I kind of subtly felt pretty good. I actually felt pretty good about my chances. It's a cold world out there, man. It's cold. The cold, cold world out there. I'm still recovering from my elimination challenge, man. Holy sh**. Okay. I'm good. Shit. Okay. There's one over here. Yep. Okay. 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 Go back this way. Up a little. Up a little more. Down to the right, down, right, okay, up to the right. Isn't there one down here? Yep, okay. To the left, up, okay. To the right, up and right, up and right. There's not one over there, I'm an idiot. Up, there's one, oh yeah, there's a couple over here, okay. Need to go this way. Up, uh, up, up to the right, down, up, up, up. Oh no, it's the left, 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 left. Left and up, and then left. What? Oh my god, man, that's impossible. I know that I did not do well, but I doubt anyone did well, really. This challenge seemed almost impossible for me. Maybe? I, I really am super in the dark on this one. Hopefully I didn't do too bad. I spent some time practicing and like halfway convinced myself that I knew what I was doing, but that was a lie. Let's do what we can. Keep our expectations realistic. Let's try not to cry. Okay, that's down. We're going to go over here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Seven eggs. You know what? That's not too bad. I will take that. I only picked up seven eggs and that's not going to be enough. I can feel it. My only hope, again, is to not come in last. It's depressing that that continues to be my hope in these games. But if I have to scrape my way along the bottom until the very end, I will. I started off great, but that quickly went downhill. I missed my second egg and the panic started to set in. I see Maru and then Abigail and I didn't even realize that they don't steal your eggs. Oh, I missed one.
Oh, no, Abigail. Come on. Oh, no. That was terrible. I looked like a lost puppy who still doesn't even know how to run properly. It was a mess, and this was by far the worst I've ever done in a challenge. The controls didn't actually mess with me that much. I just kind of had to get into a different mode where I had to like map it out in my head and think about it in a more spatial sense. Oops, already missed one, already missed one. That's fine, we're gonna move on. We don't have time. We don't have time to worry about it. Okay. Okay. Okay, kinda had a bit of a brain fart there. Up, that way, yep, up, yep, okay, yep, all right. Oh, it's Jazz, damn it. I didn't know it was Jazz, I thought it was an egg. I could have gotten another one. How many did I get? Did I even get enough to beat Abigail? Oh my God. My only plan going into this was what I did to cram for tests in school. Repeatedly say the answer, or in this case, key binds, over and over and over again until I had it in my brain. And once I started, I was back to walking like Pam after a Friday night. I'm, uh, f <laughs> God, I'm bad. I still ended up with eight eggs, which I think is a good number. It wasn't enough to beat Abigail, but hopefully everybody else struggles just as much as me. Let's find out how you all did. The person who did the worst and who will be receiving an extra vote going into the elimination is Brandigan with four eggs. Shawnee, you came in fourth place with five eggs, but our top three finishers ended up with seven, eight, and nine eggs. The winner of the Golden Mask is Therm. Haboo's gonna get all the votes, which is gonna leave me with just my Alliance buddies, and I'm gonna have to pick one of them to send down. So now I'm left with the hardest choice of my life. Shawnee for me gets an instant pass, because again, we are blood brothers in this event. We are making it to the final two. I don't care how it happens. So then that leaves me with Brandigan and Leap a lot. It feels like I'm answering one of those absurdly hard would you rather questions that's like, would you rather explode or die? It's like, I don't, for neither please. I actually, I'm not kidding. For a second, I thought about sending myself into the elimination challenge. We hopped in a call and Therm says he's gonna flip a coin for who goes in, but I'm confused because there's three of us. And that's when he tells us what I already suspected. Shawnee is safe by default because he was his teammate and all. Man, that sucks, but I understand. So there's only one thing left to do. I call Habu. I tell him it's basically me or Leap going in against him. Unless Leap, me, and Hab vote for Shawnee, there's a 50-50 shot I'm going into elimination. But if I do that, it ruins not only my chances with the jury, but Leap's as well. I don't want Leap to take that chance for me, so let the coin flip. 
Me, Brandigan, Leapalot, and Therm all join a call. And the mood in the call is instantly very awkward. Therm said he was gonna do a coin flip between Brandigan and Leapalot, which I think was a smart thing to say, but not a smart thing to do. Brandigan and Leapalot leave the call in somber spirits, but I keep talking to Therm, and I told him that he could very easily just say it was a coin flip to save face, and then really just put in whoever we thought was more dangerous. Just like that, we left the call, knowing exactly who was going into elimination. I'm there, gonna there, flip there. a coin between Brandon and Leapalot. Oh god. Bump bump right. bump bump. It's in the air. It's Brandon. Good luck, Brandon. Ooh. Thanks, guys. I good luck, my friend. Good luck, Brandon. Good luck, Therm. <laughs> And so it will be Habu versus Brandigan. We're taking a trip to Ginger Island because our second elimination today will be the Pirates Projectiles. You're both going to play a game of darts in the Pirate's Cove. In this minigame, you get points based on which slice of the dartboard your dart lands in. If you land a dart in the outer ring, your points are doubled, or if you land your dart on the inner ring, your points are tripled. The hard part about this is that your cursor is always moving, and so you have to actively move your mouse to counteract it. Once you hold and click, the circle will shrink, and when you let go, your dart will go somewhere in that circle. The person who is able to win a game in the least darts possible will be the winner. Good luck. Darts was the elimination challenge this time around. This one is less about a player skill in Stardew, but more about how stable you can get your mouse to be. Thankfully, I do have a little bit of practice in it due to the amount of perfection runs I've done recently. So hopefully that can transfer over. Brannigan did not have the confidence to start with here, but he's good. He is good. I cannot imagine the stress, but he's tough. He's got this. I believe in this. Brandon was experiencing this for roughly the first time, so it was so tense that he clearly just did not believe in himself, and like, heartbreaking, let me just say, first of all. Just hearing him say like, all right, well, I'll do my best, in a dejected voice, almost made me unplug my computer. If Brandigan wins, then it's kind of just me and Therm versus Leapalot and Brandigan. If Abu wins, then me and Therm are really the only alliance left in the game, so we'll have a numbers advantage no matter what. So now I'm stuck with the pressure of going first. Deep breaths, dude. You can do this. It doesn't help that I've only ever played this minigame once before. I can barely remember it. The strategy seems simple enough. Hit the three times multiplier on 20 until the last start, and then hit a one for what, six starts total? Oh seven, boys, it's been bum, fun. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I did this no, Brandon, clutch up. Runs. Let's go, it's not over. No, I've literally done this once in my life. I've seen Habu do it more than me. Oh my god. That's fine. But you technically needed the one. True. 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 Could be helpful. His hand is shaking, I can tell. <laughs> it's so shaky. Oh god, this is so stressful. Oh my god. <gasps> no! God. Hit him ice cream. <sighs> Calm down, you're fine. Laser. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I hope everybody wins. Again. Again! Laser! I don't feel good about this circle. It's it's treating me bad. <laughs> yeah, this circle is... Oh, doesn't even matter! It. Laser! Wow. It's fine if you mess with one. Yep. Right. That's the go. next one, though. <sighs> Why am I so nervous? I'm not even participating. <sighs> this is how it is every time, Shawnee. <laughs> this right. is par for the course. <gasps> no! <gasps> oh, that didn't count? What? Why? I'm even upset. Sorry, guys. No, just focus up. Laser. Okay, let's go. You got six left. Six left. GG's Nine out. pros. Nine pros. <clears throat> that should have right, been Bill. six. Well, sink me. Yeah. Sink me, brother.
For my second time ever playing this minigame, I don't think my score is half bad. But when it's against somebody like Habu, half bad may not be good enough. He did close it out with his ninth dart, which is a respectable attempt, but it definitely left the door open for me. And after I got rid of my jitters, I started throwing. You already have the better strategy. <laughs> wow. Nice, dude. Handshakes, Brandigan. I'm sorry. Hey, it's GGs. all good, my man. GGs. 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 It's so sad. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. You guys are I so know. mean to him. Why? Us? You voted him out. We voted for you. Yeah, you throw him at me. Just like everybody else. Oh, oh seven, boys. Oh, oh seven. Brandon. Oh, seven. Brandigan, since Habu was able to win in eight darts, you have been eliminated from the Stardew Valley Trials. You had a great run, and we're sad to see you go. It came down to one dart, which may not seem like much, but I was basically one mistake off of being forced into playing another round, and on the other side of the coin, Brandigan was just one less mistake off of tying me. I have a lot of respect for Brandigan as a person, as a player. He's definitely the one that I feared most throughout the entire trials, but at the end of the day, one of us was going home here. I'm sorry, Brandigan. You played well and you made top five. So please don't be hard on yourself for this one. It was a fun one. I knew going into the trials that if I was gonna win any elimination that's not luck-based, I'm gonna have to go through the Habu. It's a fitting send-off though, because I wouldn't wanna be eliminated by anyone but the best. I tried my hardest, but there are some things I'm just not good enough in. But I don't need to farm Sages from you guys. I'm super happy with how far I made it. And to top it all off, Leap is still in the game. Thanks, Z. It's been a wild ride and I guess it's goodbye for now, but I don't envy whoever makes it to the final two because you'll see me again soon when you face the jury. The cool thing about the jury is they don't forget. I don't know how to feel like I'm happy. I'm happy because I'm in it, you know, like I'm in the, the competition. I'm in the final four, but at what cost? So at this point, it's kind of become just purely everyone versus Habu because Shawnee Leap and I still have our alliance and Habu is kind of on his own here, but he can't lose in these elimination challenges. Again, I feel safe. All right, well, I'm going to go make pizza rolls and ponder. See you guys in a week. Adios. Now we're down to four people and me and Pur are sitting in a pretty good spot to be the final two. We're the only group of partners left in the game so we already have a numbers advantage in any voting. Having leap a lot around is nice too because we can either use or not use this alliance with pretty much no consequences either way. Like if I betray him, there's no one really here to come back and backstab me now that Brandigan's gone. And I don't really have any fears that leap a lot's gonna ally with Habu. That just doesn't seem like a combo I can really see happening. I've been using Habu pretty much this whole time to distract attention away from myself, but it's gone on long enough. Next week, he's going down. Most weeks, I've just been trying to flow to the middle of the pack to avoid any suspicion, but next week, I'm winning this challenge, and Habu is getting on that bus. It's time for this blueberry to get plucked. It's time for me to show my true Stardew Valley skills. Here's hoping I develop some of those before next week. It's me. Abu, Johnny, and Therm. I am the only one who hasn't worn a mask now. There are two eliminations to go. Brannigan, my teammate, is gone. The Alliance, done for, right? At this point, Johnny and Therm aren't going to vote against each other. And at best, you know, I could win a mask and knock someone out. But Brannigan left me a parting gift. I'll have, he said, you can do this. Brannigan had prepared for his own exit here. 
It's time for me to make a deal. We are down to just four competitors. You all have done incredibly well to make it this far, but only two of you will make it to the very end. Get some rest because next week we'll really test your skills. I'll see you soon.